Hey, my sweethearts, how is everybody? I hope you're having a blessed day. Uh, well, y'all finally the sun's shining a little bit here, so hopefully we got more rain coming, but hopefully the flooding will go down. Y'all, we had Bukuza Roads just closed yesterday, uh, last yesterday, even last night. Uh, they said the water was just absolutely flooding everything, which I knew that here. Y'all know I had my pond that I always wanted. Well, it's gone now. And that shark flew away. Or, he didn't fly away. He sailed away. But, <laughs> I, uh, I tell you what. That was some rain that come down. It was tremendous. And, uh, like I said, my yard is still soaked. It'll take days before it dries out enough to be able to mow it. But, I am coming on today, just a little chit-chat. Uh, I've done some more creating, y'all. And, y'all, I've told y'all I'm in love with those uh, 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 glossy accents. I want to buy it by the gallon bottles. Uh, I, I just adore it. And I made a couple more things to go out for Happy Mail. And I just want to be able to hurry up and get them mailed out. That, that's my thing right now. Get, start shortening that list down a little bit. Because uh, uh, y'all know, and everybody here is in the same boat. You know, we're trying to do challenges, happy meals, stuff like that. And uh, some of my obligations, and I don't consider an obligation like, you know, something you have to do. But there is a couple people I definitely want to get out their happy meal. So I'm working on that, trying that real hard in a... Uh, I made one of my envelopes this morning, y'all. Uh, I've got several pieces. I'm, you know, you've seen some of my file folders and the way I'm stuffing them and all for flat mail. But, uh, y'all, I created another envelope this morning to be able to uh, put some mail in. Oh, my goodness. It came out gorgeous. I love these paper collections, y'all. That That's just pretty. Know, I like the darker papers. And I like the antique papers. Bright colors, I love. I love. It's just they're harder for me to work with. And, uh, but y'all, I did make a nod to Summer. Mm hmm I got a couple friends who live in uh, sunnier climates and weather than I do. But, is that not cute? The paper is kind of a beachy in clouds. So, I made it like a summer scene. And then, real simple on the inside. And I got a place to write. So, I put that, but I put them together, uh, just a few little gifts to include in that card. And, y'all, Happy Mail can be simple. It can be elegant. It can be gorgeous. It can be funny. But, Happy Mail, it's, I love creating the packaging to put it on there. And, y'all, I, I was sitting here thinking, you know, y'all know how I like chit-chat. But, uh, earlier, I had got a, uh, a thing from uh, Joanne, Happy Mail Stamper. And y'all, I think uh, her challenge that he, she had, and that was almost seven months ago, eight months ago, and I found the video of one of the first fans that I had made to send out. And it was for Joanne. And uh, y'all, I, I just got to kick out seeing that video because I was a brand new YouTuber at that time. Now, I'd watched YouTube for years, and y'all know I've always crafted. But paper crafting, I just kind of got into uh, it. ain't even been a year, y'all. I won't be on YouTube as far as making videos and showing my crafts and all for one year until the end of August. Mm hmm. So, see, I'm pretty new at all this, too. But I found my niche, and I got comfortable. But, y'all, I go back and look at some of them videos now, and it is, oh, my goodness. I was so trying to find my place, how I wanted to be, and settle down into it and all, and get comfortable talking, because I was never comfortable putting myself out on tape. I could talk to a crowd. <laughs> I just wasn't comfortable talking through a video. And uh, I'm, I found my place. So, you newbies, just jump in there. You'll find your style. You'll find your way you want to present yourself and how to go about it. And all. like I said, y'all, I I only celebrate my first anniversary until August mm -hmm. on YouTube. But since I found YouTube, I adore it. I absolutely adore 
making people happy. I love coming on here and talking to y'all and telling y'all a little bit about myself. And, and you know, I've told y'all on YouTube, especially you new, know, share as much as you want or don't want to do. And you can show your face. You don't have to show your face. And, uh, y'all, it's just, it opens up a new world. It really does. Um, so don't be afraid if you are, you know, hesitating, holding back, thinking, well, I can't do this. You can. If I can do this, anybody can. I've told y'all that a hundred million times. And y'all, there will always be somebody interested in what you've got to say, do, or put out there to show. It's just the way it is. I mean, we all like so many different things. And our world is uh, come together with YouTube and being able to, uh, you know, uh, share. And y'all know I don't do Facebook. I don't do Instagram. Y'all, you know, I told you it took me a long time to handle YouTube. So I, I'm comfortable at YouTube. I, I ain't too comfortable on anything else. And uh, everything's a learning curve. And I still like to learn, but I like to learn crafts and things like that. Uh, I just, you know... Like I said, come in to chit chat a little bit. Uh, I just, I watched so many people and so many things. And like I said, when I watched that video and, and she was talking in it, um, and that's the Happy Mill Stamper, uh, Joanne Anna, I had made her the fan. And like I said, that's been like seven, eight months ago. And uh, there was like two or three of those girls, even before I put up videos, like I had joined challenges and stuff, just like y'all do. And uh, I just got a little more comfortable doing and doing and doing. And uh, y'all, I've had the best ladies in the world who uh, have supported me, encouraged me, uh, and and I I have come to just love each and every one of them. As you know that. But y'all, um, if you will go in, and, and y'all know how I am. Y'all know I like to do a little bit of everything. I'm not a professional at any of it. I'm amateur at a lot of it. But the people who do know how to do tutorials and put them up and all, y'all, oh my goodness, they have so much to show you that you can learn from them. And I am blessed because if I want to know how to do something, I can go find a tutorial on how to do it. And y'all, there has been, uh, they have opened my world up so much in the crafting, you know, uh, era. Uh, there is just nothing that you can't do. But a lot of it takes practice, doing the same thing over and over and over again. And y'all, I stay on the same thing for a little while until I can kind of get it to where I'm happy with it. it. Might not be perfect, but I'm happy with it. And then, you know, I'm okay. I'll, I'll go and learn something else. Uh, I am just enthralled, though, with all the crafting goodness that is out there to learn how to do. It is such a wonderful experience. And these ladies, they show you their work. And y'all, everybody, uh, I've always said, said it before nobody invented the wheel everybody learns from somebody else on this channel uh and youtube uh no one of us would know how to make anything if we didn't read some directions or try projects so like i said i take my hats off though to the ladies who can do tutorials and show me how to use the products or tell me hints to use the products and all and that i absolutely adore so, uh, I thank you, each and every one, for always telling me, or showing me, or teaching me, or sharing with me the hints, the secrets, the techniques, and all. Uh, I adore that. I adore that. And y'all, we are so lucky. We don't have to go and get 900 books and try to figure it out on our own. we got somebody who can sit down in front of us and show us how to. And I'm a visual learner. I, I've never been good at learning 
from a book. Um, as far as crafting, it, you know, I wanted to see it. That's how I learned the best. I'm visual. But, uh, I, uh, like I said, I just, if you haven't done it, take a chance. It'll open up a whole new world for you. And, like I said, I'm a newbie. <laughs> I've been crafting all my life. But I'm a newbie when it comes to YouTube and putting up videos and all. Like I said, y'all. Uh, I've been on YouTube a long time, but I watched, oh my goodness, years of crafters before I ever decided to do a first video. And I've told y'all before, and the newer subscribers don't know this, but the first video I ever put up was because a sweet lady and, uh, 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 I can't, I can't quite remember how to say her YouTube name, but anyway, she, I won a prize from her. And I put up the video. I sent her a formal thank you also. But I wanted to show her that I really appreciated what she had done for me. And y'all, that's um, something else. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm kind of a little bit funny about. I The reason my list is so long for Happy Mail and things is because there's a lot of people who's done a lot of things for me. And yes, I make videos and I show their stuff and everything else. But I want them to have something from me that tells them just how much what they did for me meant to me. Whether it be a handmade card to say thank you or whatever. I mean, that was always important to me. And that's like my challenge. And everybody I told you who entered my challenge, you know, I worked my rear end off. Because I wanted to create something for every last person who joined my challenge. And y'all, it was up in the 80s, I think, when it got through. And uh, I did create something for each and every one who entered my challenge and mailed it off. And um, when I first put my challenge up, and the only thing I asked for was a member dex card. Their style. Didn't care. Whatever they wanted to create. And y'all, it was so overwhelming. And... Now, a challenge will work yourself off. My challenge, like I said, but I, I made it doubly hard on myself because I wanted to create something for everybody who entered. And y'all, I got, I told you that's a lot of my memory box in there, you know, has a lot of their creations and things. And uh, they're beautiful. Oh my goodness. They just make me feel good when I go to look at them. And y'all, I've got my three boxes now of member dex cards. But, um, uh, and, and sometimes, uh, it's very hard. And this is another thing I wanted to tell you. It's, if you're entering a challenge, you know, be very careful how you write your addresses. Because sometimes they're so hard to read. And, Y'all know I have vision problems anyway, so, you know, I love getting there, and now I'm kind of transferring over and into my book, so I have everybody's addresses and things like that, instead of having to flip through cards, because of, the one thing I learned, I, I love the memory decks cards, I absolutely adore them, but they are hard to alphabetize. and when you think this is the one that came from this person, you know, on the front, it never tells you who they are. That information is on the back. And sometimes it's tucked in. Sometimes it's tied on the back. Sometimes it's in a little envelope on the back. Sometimes it's in a space. So, that, I love memory decks cards. Don't get me wrong. But I'm leaning more now to the ATC cards as one of my favorite things to send to people because they can flip it over on the back and there's the information. And... Filing it would be a whole lot easier, too, because the information's right there. It's not covered up, because that does make it hard. Y'all, I'm, I'm here to tell you. I go back now trying to find address and I'll be like, okay, now, what did that memory card look like? Okay, I think I remember this, and sometimes you'll have to go through 15 or 20 memory tax cards to get to the right person and address. And I don't care how good your mind is. It might not be like mine. But nobody can remember 87 number dex cards of what everybody's looked like. Can't do it. There's no way. So, uh, and there was another, uh, y'all, Rosemary, uh, you rock. Uh, 
she had asked everybody instead of doing like member debt cards or ATC card or something like that to just email her their addresses so she could write them down in her book. And y'all, um, I think that is a superb idea. I really do like that idea. So uh, I always keep my email and mailing address on the About Me page on my channel. But if you want to send me your address, just email me. Email me your address. But the two most important things, I always make sure I know your channel name and your name. Sometimes people's channel names are the same as their um, channel name I, or real name. So that's fine. But if you're going to put so-and-so, but your channel name is something else, make sure you include that because sometimes we know people by channel names. Sometimes it's by their name. And um, it just makes it easier, especially uh, people who send out a lot of half email and all. And I'm one of those people. It just makes it easier. So if uh, I don't have your address or your channel name and real name connected, just shoot me an email and tell me what your address is because I would love to include it with my addresses. And, uh, like I said, just a little chit-chat, a few little ideas, things to consider when you're putting out challenges. And, and y'all all know, I said I would never do another challenge again. Couldn't do it. Because I'm the type of person who, besides all the prizes I gave away, I want each and every last person to have something I created back. And y'all, I did it. But I was in sheer exhaustion mode. When I got through, it took me a long time to recoup my energy back. And uh, I had mental exhaustion trying to keep up with everything. So having a challenge is more work sometimes than people think about. Because it's not just getting all the goodies and showing them. There's a lot more to it than that. So it's something to think about. All right. Y'all know how much I love you. You know how much I love chit-chatting with you. And I hope I give you some advice sometimes that you can use. Uh, Y'all know any of my crafting hints just comes from somebody else. I try to tell y'all that. And, and I'll try to lead you to their channels and everything. That's like my coloring techniques, I told you. You know, I've watched so many of y'all color and stuff and use the glossy accents and give me hints and everything. And y'all, you can't always keep up with everybody who you've watched, who's gave you that hint. And and they don't expect that. They know. But, always say thank you on your channel or when you're talking to them, you know, for showing me this or for telling me about this, you know, because uh, that does help a lot. Helps a lot with subbies who's watching uh, because then they're like, oh, so this is where that come from. Oh, okay, in the comments or whatever. Oh, I'll go watch this channel. They'll be a subscriber. You know, if they like what they see, they'll be a subscriber. And y'all know how I am. Every once in a while, I'll tell you, if you're not subscribed to me, please subscribe. Hit that bell. <laughs> I forget it most of the time, y'all. I'm sorry. That's just my brain cell. I forget. <laughs> but I absolutely will welcome you. This is my home. This is your home. When you're watching me, that's how I want you to feel. Like you're coming into a friend's house. And I'm me. What you see today is going to be the same thing you see every time I come on here. So, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And, uh, you know, watch as long as you want, short as you want. I always tell them that. That don't bother me. It don't bother me at all. I ain't on here to make money. I ain't on here to uh, see how many subscribers can get. I'm on here to have a good time. And that's that's exactly what I want to do. I want to have a good time. I've always told you, you know, uh, I don't like negativity. So this channel right here, I try to keep it positive. I try to only let it be positive. Things happen with everybody. But y'all, I just want you to feel blessed when you come here. I want to 
I want to be the person when you watch my channel that you felt like you sit down with a friend and talk to because that's how I feel about y'all. You know, uh, that's how I roll. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you have a blessed day. Hugs, kisses, love to you all. And we'll be chit-chatting again soon. God bless you all. Bye, darlings.